The Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program is a crucial federal nutrition assistance initiative offering benefits to eligible low-income individuals and families through an electronic benefits transfer card. Administered by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Food and Nutrition Service, SNAP plays a vital role in enhancing food security, promoting healthier diets, and freeing up resources for health-related activities. Changes in SNAP, including adjustments to maximum allotments, deductions, and income eligibility standards, occur annually at the start of the federal fiscal year on October 1st. These adjustments are based on variations in the cost of living, representing the amount needed for a basic standard of living. Recently, SNAP benefits increased, but eligibility requirements are undergoing modifications following the Fiscal Responsibility Act, signed into law by President Joe Biden. Here are five significant changes anticipated in the new year. The first change on our list is eligibility and age. The Fiscal Responsibility Act gradually raises the age limit for able-bodied adults without dependents' work requirements, extending from age 18 to 50 to age 54 by October 2024. Some exemptions include physical or mental limitations, pregnancy, veteran status, homelessness, or being in foster care at age 24 or younger. Number two, income eligibility. To qualify for SNAP benefits, gross monthly income limits should not exceed 130% of the federal poverty level. The limits vary based on household size and location, with adjustments for Alaska, Hawaii, Guam, Virgin Islands, and the contiguous states. Number 3. Maximum Allotments The Cost of Living Adjustments, or COLA, for 2024 has increased maximum allotments for various regions. For example, a family of four in the 48 states and D.C. will have a maximum allotment of $973, ranging from $1,248 to $1,937 in Alaska. Hawaii sees a decrease to $1,759 for a family of four. Number four, minimum benefit. The minimum benefit for the 48 states and D.C. remains unchanged at $23. And last but not least, we have the fifth change, Hot Foods Act. Now, over 100 lawmakers led by U.S. Representative Abigail Spanberger are advocating for the Hot Foods Act in the 2023 Farm Bill. The legislation aims to permit SNAP recipients to purchase hot and prepared foods, addressing barriers to food security especially for those facing time constraints. These changes highlight the dynamic nature of SNAP, adapting to economic and legislative shifts to better serve its recipients. All right, folks, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below any information that you might have regarding helpful tips and money-saving strategies for those of you on low-income programs, Social Security, SNAP, and EBT benefits, and maybe you can help someone else out. I will see you all in the next video, and have an awesome day.